got the RV City Jayco 17 foot trailer hooked up and we're heading down south. Kaylin's coming, my dad's already left. We're gonna have a great weekend, hopefully shoot some birds and see if my dad and Kaylin can get on a mule deer or two. Roger managed to put three bucks to bed, one really nice one that's in a pretty stockable location, so we're gonna go see what we can do there. We bumped him, and he's a gorgeous deer. Hopefully we can get on another buck. Well, we just got to the field. We're gonna dig a pet, set up the decoys, and wait for the birds to come. That was unbelievable. Woo. So we just finished our morning drive and we spotted a really nice buck down in this slew bed. So we're gonna go see if we can put a stock on him. I think he's smoking me. Oh, he's right there! He's oh right my there! God, he's <laughs> right there. My name's Mitchell Payment. I started tagging along with my dad to go hunting basically since I learned to walk. I grew up living the outdoor lifestyle, learning from my dad and any hunting video I could get my hands on as a kid. Got a day with a big buck tonight. Once I turned 12, the legal age to hunt, we started taking things more serious than ever. This is our second attempt on getting a buck. Spot and stalk me. Working hard and learning through experience to better our odds to fold our tags on the animals we were pursuing. It has helped us grow into who we are now. Welcome to Season 4 of Moment of Truth TV. Got a big head on him, wide ears. I'm at a loss for words. Oh, he's so nice and mature. He is such an awesome buck. Yeah. I can't commit. He's a dream buck. Look at that drop. <laughs> <laughs> that was unbelievable. Our trip started off by heading to RV City, Mournville, Alberta location, where we picked up a beautiful 17-foot Jayco Baja Edition trailer, perfect for any outdoorsman. We got the truck all loaded up and we got the RV City Jayco 17 foot trailer hooked up and we're heading down south. We're doing another down south trip. Kaylin's coming, my dad's already left and my grandpa and uncle are already heading down there as well. We're a little bit behind but we're going to head down there and we're going to have a great weekend. Hopefully shoot some birds and see if my dad and Kaylin can get on a mule deer or two. It'll be, it's just going to be an enjoyable weekend. It's Thanksgiving weekend. We're going to enjoy it down there. It's beautiful weather and we're going to hit the road. We've got a bit of a drive ahead of us so stay tuned. Let's get after it. We're just driving down a camp right now and we've been seeing lots and lots of deer on the sides of roads and in ditches and coolies and whatnot. And so it's gonna be a great weekend for hunting muleys. Well, we made her to camp. We're gonna get all unpacked and then maybe go for a drive tonight and hopefully spot some muleys, but such a beautiful day, I just can't believe it for October. And I'm super stoked for what the weekend has to offer. 
After getting settled in the camp, it was time for Kay to get her prime bow and kill and sticks arrows out and take some practice shots. After making a couple minor adjustments, Kay found the middle of the dot and it was time to head out for a quick evening hunt to see if we can get on a mule deer. After driving around and seeing an abundance of wildlife, as the sun was going down we spotted the buck I had missed a month prior, as seen in a previous episode. Now Hardhorn we decided to quickly stalk this buck, but with not enough daylight and the buck being in a tough spot, we were unable to get close. It's now time to head back to camp and enjoy a home cooked meal with my grandpa and uncle before getting comfortable in our RV city trailer to get some rest for the morning. Moment of Truth TV is brought to you by RV City, generations of family fun. Old Smokes Coffee, coffee for the courageous. Eye Hunter app, know your regs inside and out. Tacticam, share your hunt. Sights and Arms, your firearm specialists. And by Prime Archery, the most accurate bows on the planet. This segment is brought to you by RV City. For all your trailer, trailer repair, and camping needs. Located in Mournville and Nisku, Alberta. And by Tacticam, the best first person hunting camera on the market. Made for hunters by hunters. Share your hunt. Okay, let's get up, let's go get a muley. Well, we're just perched up on this hill looking for a muley buck for Kaylin to stalk and there's lots of deer out. It's just a, one of those beautiful mornings on the prairies and there's two really nice bucks over here and it actually looks like the ones that were with the one I shot earlier in the season and in my opinion the one that the other one might have been a bit bigger. It's hard to say they both had similar frames but Kaylin will put one to bed over here. We might try that one if these guys don't bed it in a better spot because those guys are in some thick brush and dad's perched out on a hill across the way so between all of us we should hopefully put one to bed and uh, can put on some stocks this morning but just enjoying the beautiful morning. Mitch dropped me off on the road here. We had saw three pretty decent bucks here this morning and I'm watching them. They're just over the hill and they're a little ways away but they can't see me. One is a rigging giant, like it's a big buck. It looks like he might bed in a pretty decent spot, so I'm just gonna keep my eye on him and we'll see what happens. So this morning we split up, Roger went over here and we went a couple roads down. Roger managed to put three bucks to bed, one really nice one that's in a pretty stalkable location, so we're gonna go see what we can do there. After stalking in and getting ready to crest in the hill where the buck was bedded, the giant buck rose right in front of us and jogged to the top of the hill. With this beautiful buck standing in all his glory at 60 yards, and Kaelin only being comfortable to shoot out to 40, we elected to pass this giant buck. So, that was attempt numero uno for stalking, and it was a bust. The wind was staying pretty consistent out of the southeast, and we found it weird that he was bedded right in the wind so he could come over the hill just perfect with the wind in our face and get a shot. So while we were moving in, he must have got up out of his bed, went over the hill and bedded in the knoll like right where we were going to be coming in. So on our way in to come over the hill where we thought he was bedded, we bumped him. And he's a gorgeous deer. We actually bumped that deer a couple weeks ago when I was hunting, but pretty cool. Hopefully we can get on another buck. There's a spiker with him, but how was that for your first muley hunting experience? Awesome. Right on, let's go. 
we proceeded to head back to camp to take a break at our RV City Jayco trailer and have a delicious meal cooked on the barbecue to fill us up to go get ready for an evening waterfowl hunt my grandpa and uncle had previously spotted. Well, we just got to the field. We're gonna dig a pet, set up the decoys and wait for the birds to come. We're in here nice and early, but we wanna make sure everything's set up and we don't miss any birds. Cause there's only about 300 honkers in here, but that's plenty enough to shoot and maybe even for a little limitless. So we're gonna get after it. After getting all the decoys laid out and the blinds set up, it was time to take a break and have a nap and wait for the birds to come out. This segment is brought to you by Sights and Arms for all your firearm, shooting, and hunting needs. Also, get booked for the best firearm training, shooting sports, and reloading courses today. And by Revolution Armory, affordable quality craftsmanship. Well, we're all set up, we're in the blind. It's 5.30 so the birds could be flying at any time. We just seen some geese flying off in the distance. So my uncle, grandpa and girlfriend Kaylin are in the blind. So it should be a great evening if the birds come in. I'm looking forward to it. Well, that was incredible. Those guys came right in. It was kind of tough shooting, but I think we knocked down a couple. Good shooting. That was better. Should we take them? Yeah. I almost got hit by a goose. Look at the feathers there. More common. Oh, here's some ducks. Here they come. Fine. I hit him right in the head. Nice, babe. <laughs> that was unbelievable. Now is that cool or what? That was neat. Here comes more. <laughs> Torpedo. I hold her one. I think we got a few there. <laughs> Take them. I got one duck. Look how beautiful they are. That is a nice duck. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
Well, that concludes an absolute amazing evening. I can't even remember the last time we had a goose shoot like that where those big candas came right into the decoys and we were all just pounding them. The Revolution Arm shotguns and the score ammunition absolutely crushed them. And uh, this is definitely a night I will never forget with my girlfriend and the rest of the family down here in the prairies of Alberta. But we end up with 31 geese and a couple ducks. But overall, it was an amazing shoot. Gotta thank my uncle and grandpa for spotting this one. And <laughs> it was just an amazing night. Yeah, really good. Woo! After getting everything packed up, it was time to head back to camp and enjoy the rest of the evening before getting some rest to head out for mule deer in the morning. Moment of Truth TV is brought to you by Revolution Armory, Canada's best custom shotguns, G5 Outdoors, designed to hunt, Enforcer Ozone, number one predator in odor control, reveal cellular cameras, always on the hunt. Killing Sticks, where the blood trail begins, and by Score Ammunition, proudly Canadian. This segment is brought to you by the iHunter app. Know your regs, where you're hunting, or plan to go, right on your mobile device. And by Old Smokes Coffee. Try it yourself and use promo code MOT at oldsmokescoffee.com for 10% off your purchase. It's the morning after a waterfowl shoot and the final morning of our hunt and we're heading out to try to put a mule deer buck to bed to see if Kaylin can get her very first bow kill. Not too far along into our drive we spotted a nice buck cresting a hill and going to a slough bed and it was game on to see if Kaylin and I could get within range. So we just finished our morning drive and we spotted a really nice buck down in the slough bed so we're going to go see if we can put a stock on him. We were able to make quick work of the stock going down the edge of the road to a draw that led up to the slew bed out in the field. After belly crawling 200 yards around the slew bed without a sighting of the buck, we continued to push forward slowly looking for antlers sticking out within the brush. Nearing the end of the slew bed and starting to think the buck might have gave us the slip, finally 15 yards within the thick willows, we saw the rack sitting there. After waiting for about an hour in the cold October wind and rain, the buck rose from his bed. Only 15 yards away, the buck put on a show, thrashing the thick brush he was bedded within. After 15 minutes, the buck made up his mind, and luckily for us, he started to move in our direction. Arrow. How does it look? Oh, there's long and bubbles on it. It went about three quarters of the way through them, and there's good blood on this arrow. That is fantastic. <laughs> so Kay might have just smoked her first ever buck. That was so cool. <laughs> he was bedded there, and honestly, I thought we were gonna be there maybe all afternoon. We were like 15 yards and got up. He was raking a tree, which was so cool, and then got up, walked out, and I was like, Man, I was almost, I was yelling at him, and he would not stop. And then Kay just took him, he was on a slow walk, it looked like she just pinwheeled him, heart and lung, and it just, it made that sound, you know, when it's a good shot. So, he ran into the slough bed, just the next slough bed over, which is really only like a hundred yard, not even run, and I'm hope, we're hoping he's down in there, but we're just gonna rewatch the footage, make sure everything's good. Seeing lots of good blood. We were just walking up to the arrow, and man, oh man, lots and lots of good blood, so. We should, hopefully we put our hands on a buck in case. Is, uh, that was amazing, she did, I'm very impressed. That was, that was a professional stock, we crawled a long ways. And for it to be her first real stock, I just can't even believe it, she's a natural. But we're gonna give him a bit of time anyways and hopefully go lay our hands on him. So we've 
been following really great blood to this slow bed we gave him about an hour and now we're just gonna go and look and see if he's still in here we didn't see him leave so chances are he's in here He's right there! Holy! Wow. <laughs> oh, he's so nice and mature. Holy. Oh, he's. Oh, it's such a nice buck. First archer mule deer. Awesome. Look at the lungs hanging out of him. Nice shot, babe. <gasps> this is awesome. We'll get him propped up here and do a proper interview right now, so stay tuned. Well here he is, my first ever archery kill. Uh, nice southern Alberta mule deer. Uh, we started off this morning and we were just driving along the road, we spotted him, we drove all the way around, we, we watched him bed down and we snuck in, we snuck all the way, belly crawled the, all, all along the slough bed. We, we actually thought he left, but kept creeping all around the slough bed and I look to my left and he's just in this big willow. So we just quickly sit down and we're just watching him and about an hour and 15 <laughs> later, stood up there's one shooting lane where like if, if it were to work out and be super ideal he went right through it it was just absolutely amazing and i was yelling trying to stop him and he would not stop so kaylin made the split second decision to take the shot and it was a good one at that she absolutely crushed him there's lungs hanging out of him and he he was done it was just yeah. honestly so cool i'm so glad i got to experience Thank it with you. you and i'm so proud that was a pro stalk i don't know for her first ever stalk Really? I've never seen anything like it. Obviously, you're natural. Okay, so congratulations. I think he's old and mature. Yeah. He's got really good mass and facing off his body size. I mean, he could be an old buck. He's really cool. And I think that's going to be a memory that I'll never forget. I don't know about you. Thank you for taking me out to get this awesome guy. My pleasure. It's just been an incredible weekend. Thanks for coming along. This segment is brought to you by Prime Archery, where accuracy is everything, and by G5 Outdoors, designed to hunt. Closed captioning is brought to you by RV City, located in Mournville and Nisku, Alberta.